Hey Alice Bell, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the fifth and final prompt of middle grade March to read a book that's older than you. Today I have my middle grade March sweater on. I have March this year, so I've shown you in the other videos. Uh, as always, I'll have below the three hosts, YouTube channels, and their announcement videos. So there wasn't that many that I had read, so I'm going to include... So in this one I'm going to include the ones I've read and then the ones I haven't read, but I want to start with I'll do the ones I have read. And I have so many editions of a lot of these, so I just picked one edition to bring it because I wasn't going to bring every edition I have of each. I have The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgins. Bring it. And I'm not going to read the synopsis because many people know the stories of these. And this one is just beautifully illustrated. I absolutely love this story. And. A little princess which for some reason I didn't grab so I'll insert a picture of one of the editions I have of that. I absolutely love this story. It's an incredible classic. Highly recommend it. I'm so happy I read it. I love this story so much. I'm sure this is older than everybody. 11. So everybody's older than this book. Okay this is editing Bella a little bit later. So this is A Little Princess by Frajan. Frances Hodgen Burnett too. I absolutely love this story. I love little Sarah. She's such an incredible character. Absolutely amazing books. I love. I can't read to read her other book. Highly recommend. And I need to read this again. I read it when I was little, so I don't remember much. So basically, all my memories are of movies. But Alice in One Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And for a couple of these, I got the same edition. I love these editions. It was 150 years in 2015, so it was written in 1865, so definitely older. And then Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. I love this story so much. I love Oliver. Some nice some illustrations. When was this first published? In the 1800s, definitely older. And then the one I read for last middle grade March, I think last middle grade March, a book published the year you were born. Roald Dahl, Matilda. It's just a beautiful edition. And I really enjoyed it. This is my first little doll book I had read. And I loved it. Her parents are awful though. And then Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. This was a fun, quick read. I would wish the ending had went a little differently. There's two sides to that. Some people loved how it ended and thought it was. And then other people, you know, wish like me. So this is 1975, so if you're younger than 1975, like me, this would be older than you, and that would work. Lastly, for the ones I've read, it's 1986, it says, so this, is, this was my middle grade growing up. This is what we, what we had, and Babysitter's Club by Anne M. Martin, and I read every single book, all of them, even the mystery ones and the the summer vacation one, like all of them. I loved it. Watched the movie. Oh, okay. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. I've only seen the movie, so very interested to see how it differs. Reading that graphic novel, so I've kind of read it. I read that graphic novel, but seeing how much it differed, like even the color of the shoes, very interested in see how the original, not just a graphical novel in, um, adaptation, but the novel differs from the movie. So, it doesn't say, but they lived from 1856 to 1919. And then Jane of Lantern Hill by L.M. Montgomery. This is one I've heard the best things about. It's listed as middle grade, so hopefully it is. This was first written in 1937. So, it's supposed to be older than most people. So, and I'm excited to read The Never Ending Story by Michael N., translated by Ra Ralph Manheim. This is anything like the movie, it's middle grade. I haven't watched it much since I was little. That movie, like, trauma, that scene with the unicorn or horse in the water, like, no. I can't watch stuff like that anymore. If I do watch it again, I'd have to fast forward that. Let's see, this was first published in, I think it was first published in 1979. So this is older than me by a couple years, barely. So if you're younger than 1979, then this will work. 
And then I've seen the whole TV show. I don't even think I knew growing up there was a book series. I have the whole series. Well, the whole I got the whole series. It was missing a couple of books, but I just grabbed this one. Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Wilder. And I'm interested in see how the book is different from the series. Or the books are different from the series. I love that series growing up. It says 1963. So if you're younger than 1963, this will work for that. And Peter Pan and Wendy by J.M. Perry. Another one of these beautiful editions. Never read Peter Pan. I've only seen the movie. He's not one of my favorite tales. But I do tend to like retellings. So maybe I'll like it. I don't know. 1904, so definitely older <laughs> than everybody. And then Pinocchio by Carlo Collari. Only ever seen the movie of this, uh, pretty sure. But I'm interested in see again how they differ. All of these editions, so very excited. But it has the author name and it says 1826 to 1890, so definitely older. And then Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery. always heard the best things about this series. I'm very excited to finally read it. It just sounds amazing and right up my alley and just all warm and cozy. Oh, they don't tell you. I'll insert an edit here where I tell you when it was first published, but I'm pretty sure it's older than most people. Editing bell here. It was, it says online that it was first published in 1908, so definitely older. <laughs> and then Heidi by Johanna Spirey. Another one I've seen a couple movie adaptations, and I there's two I absolutely love. One that's my favorite. One has Shirley Temple in it, I believe. Can't wait to read the book, see how it differs. But I've always heard great things. Very excited about it. This was 1927, so definitely older. And then the one I'm reading is. Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. I think I saw the movie when I was little, so I'll probably read this and then watch the movie. I'm very excited. First published in 1913, so definitely older than me. I'm very excited and cannot wait to read it. It says Orphan Girl. There's a lot of books in here that were for orphan characters, too. So, can't wait. And then lastly, Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. And I have the whole series. Um, this is just like an illustrated, supposed to be illustrated, I don't know, fancy version, but there's not that many illustrations. By Julia Sarda, who's a favorite illustrator. And I've only ever seen the movie. I don't think I've ever read the books, but they sound, again, right up my alley and like I'm really gonna love them. So I'm excited and I had been wanting this one for a while and when I got it, it was on sale. So I was very happy. 1934, so definitely older. All right, y'all, that's it for this video. Have you read any of these? Did you like them, did you not? Did you find some ideas? Let me know in the comments. As always, are you participating? Like, like I always ask, are you participating in the middle of your March? Are you excited like I am? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to subscribe, I would love that if you'd like to. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.